I want to shift the focus over to what we're seeing play out in the public sector as well, because it's not just restaurants and some of these private sectors impacted by the pandemic. But as we see tax revenues continue to fall at the state and local level, there's a lot of issues about uh, jobs being cut in the public sector here. And for more on that issue, you want to bring on Yahoo Finance's Kristen Myers, who has more details on that. Kristen? Hey, Zach. So, yeah, as you're mentioning, a lot of states are essentially are having huge shortfalls in their budgets because tax revenues have been on the decline, especially as some businesses close. Economic activity has been declining over the last couple of months. So the Urban Institute actually went and checked out each state's uh, tax revenue for the last couple of months. And what they found was that 46 states, so almost the entire country, showed a combined revenue drop of nearly $30 billion, Zach. And now that's just compared to the same stretch of time as last year. CBPP, that's the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, they also took a look at some of this data. And what they found was that state tax collections for March through July were nearly 8% less than those same months last year. So a pretty big decline that we are seeing there. I do want to mention they are not as bad, however, as some of these states had been projecting. Some states have been projecting losses um, of over 11% for the first couple of months of the pandemic. But in normal times, if this was not a pandemic right now, Zach, normally tax collections would actually have grown from 2 to 3%. That was what they were projecting for those same months. Now, as you were mentioning, it's not just restaurants, right, that is impacting uh, this tax rec- revenue declines, this economic activity declines. We're also seeing states that have a lot of oil um, or oil-related industries because of plunging oil prices. You know, you and I have discussed that um, on this show several times. As we're seeing those oil prices decline, we're, we're starting to see the tax revenue um, and the economic activity around oil, oil distribution also start to decline. So some states uh, that essentially have a, a high concentration of, of oil businesses are really starting to suffer the most. Just want to run through really quickly some state projections for everyone to kind of put this into context in New York here um, and also in Colorado. They're projecting that revenue is going to be declining by 17 percent or more here in New York. Tax revenue is going to fall by $13 billion, Zach, in 2021 alone. That's according to the New York's uh, Department of Finance. Uh, And it's going to fall by $16 billion in 2022. California expecting revenues to decline by $32 billion in 2021 alone. So we are seeing massive declines across the board. Now, why is this important when it comes to those stimulus talks and those stimulus negotiations? Well, as we've been discussing, stimulus is not just about that $1,200 paycheck that most Americans are going to get or that $600 unemployment enhancement. It's also money that's going to the states and to cities to essentially keep up basic services that they give to all of their residents. Well, as a part of this package, which right now is still currently stalled, those negotiations, states and cities have gotten no help right now at all. And most of them have actually burned through all of the money that the federal government has given them. And as a result, they're starting to look back at their budgets and they're saying, well, okay, what are we going to have to cut? What essential services are we going to have to reduce in order to make up some of these shortfalls? Uh, as a quick reminder for everyone, the White House did up their stimulus counter proposal to nearly two trillion dollars, roughly one point nine trillion. The Democrats were standing at two point two trillion dollars. Nancy Pelosi uh, has said that she's hoping some sort of deal can get done in, in the coming days. But just as a reminder for everyone, it's not just House Democrats and the White House that are a part of this negotiation. Senate Republicans yeah. are also uh, have a seat at this table as well, Zach. And they're right now saying, listen, two trillion dollars huge price tag. They're not sure if they're going to be going with it. So we're going to have to see how much money states can get um, and cities can get in the coming weeks.